Hello Jerry, thanks for being here with us on board. Can you introduce yourself and introduce HAA to us European readers? Certainly. Uh, my name is Jerry LeMann, the director of the Home Acoustics Alliance, and we are an organization which is dedicated to the, uh, I guess, the furthering of the science of uh, quality sound. Our focus is on uh, providing a, a place for manufacturers, audio video specialists, dealers, and even consumers to collaborate. And uh, we provide uh, a resource and for training and uh, for that information for improving the science of quality sound. Okay, so uh, how long have you, have you been around, you know? Well, we, uh, we actually been around for about five years. Uh, we, uh, I guess, did our first uh, seminar uh, in, in L.A. in conjunction with uh, the Imaging Science Foundation, which has been a, uh, an inspiration for the HAA and, I think, a model for uh, how to provide that kind of a resource for the industry. So you, you do provide trainings same way, you know, ISF does? Oh yes. In fact, uh, over the last five years, I'd say we've averaged uh, between, well, it, it varies, but 25 to 30 trainings a year, most of which in conjunction with Imaging Science Foundation. Joel Silver uh, does his uh, classic world-famous seminar for two days, and then uh, we uh, share students, and then we have two days of Home Acoustics Alliance. So this is, in a way, a world course, you know, some people do both of the trainings in a row. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we, uh, in fact, uh, the uh, training has been sponsored by a number of different uh, companies, most recently uh, uh, Sencor Electronics in, Saint, in uh, uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, has been a wonderful friend of both ISF and, and HAA and provided uh, uh, great support over the years. We also work with, uh, with other companies, and uh, it's a great way to interface with uh, the dealers out there. I see. So could you explain to our readers, you know, why, you know, home acoustics and audio calibration are necessary to achieve a good, you know, result? Well, uh, I believe it's fundamental. I think that uh, the analogy we use quite often is someone purchasing new tires for their automobile and uh, neglecting to have the tires balanced and aligned, uh, something that uh, seems logical and absolutely necessary. Uh, our feeling is that audio equipment of the highest caliber uh, in order to perform at its highest caliber needs to be properly tuned and set up in the listening room. It's, uh, it, again, fundamental. Well, there is a debate, you know, taking place, you know, since a few years, you know, I would say uh, uh, actual theater emulation, that's the THX side of, of things, versus a more directional, discrete surround approach. So, do you advocate, uh, do you advocate an approach uh, against another? Well, uh, Home Acoustics Alliance uh, takes a step back and we, we try to reflect and, as I said, provide a collaborative uh, forum for information. So it would be, it, it, it doesn't serve our purpose to advocate one or the other. I will say this though, most of our dealers uh, are providing services in real rooms, meaning living rooms and, and everyday residences. And it's very difficult uh, in order to provide that kind of a, what I call a focused rear sound stage. The, the theater emulation uh, that uh, THX and uh, of course it's referred to as the ITU uh, concept um, seems to work uh, a little easier in most residences and so frankly that, that tends to be the focal point of many of the installations that are done and, and very simply what we tend to focus on when we teach. But that doesn't mean that I'm against the, uh, this new energy, this new concept. It's simply a practical matter. It's uh, the concept of creating this focus sound field behind the listener is much more difficult than a real room. And do you think acoustical treatments or audio calibration are only, you know, supposed to be um, with uh, dedicated observer rooms or do you think, you know, a living room can be treated and calibrated? 
Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I have a pretty open mind on the definition of acoustical treatment. I think that all items that are in a room, in fact, are affecting the acoustics. So a good calibrator, a good acoustical calibrator is one who looks not only at very sophisticated acoustical treatment, diffusers and, and absorbers, but also looks at the everyday furnishings and, and learns how to perhaps better arrange them to achieve a great result. So it's a, it, the, the approach is designed to work in, in, in any room, much beyond uh, dedicated rooms. Okay, so how about Europe? Do you plan or did you already, you know, set trainings, you know, in Europe? Yes, we've been to, uh, we've done trainings in Netherlands and, and UK and uh, plan on continuing. In fact, uh, we should be back uh, in 2006. Uh, in fact, we're hoping to be uh, in uh, doing a training in uh, near London in March. How about the IAC? Are you planning to, to be around during that show? Well, we'll see. No plans as of yet, but we're very open-minded. We love going over to uh, Europe, and uh, you know, it, you don't have to ask twice for us to come over. Okay, so thanks, Jerry. I hope you enjoy the cruise, same way we do, and maybe see you next year. Great. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.